disassemble our PC here. So here's my crew here. Here's Jeffrey. This is uh, Priscil. That's it, Erfan, and there is Christopher. And today we're going to disassemble this PC and we're going to explain to you guys. Stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, guys, this is the CPU that we are talking about. We're going to take it out pitch part by part so you can guys know what the inside of and the component of the CPU itself. So today, by removing the side case here, we can see that there is um, there's a fan here that using for S halting and then going to removing any heat that made by any component in the CPU itself. So basically, this is a fan to blow any heat. Back to the CPU itself, that we're having a several complex component here. The first component that we notice here is that the silver bar here, that this is the actual GPU card. What GPU card does here is that GPU are attached to the component, attached to the motherboard, and then it's used by the computer to rendering any 3D application or 3D ima imaging process and to help the com computer to help to perform better. Moving out, we are having a blue thing, a blue fan here, and this is actually a heat sink. What heat sink does here is that it absorbs the heat that being done by the processor. It's trying to avoid any damage that causing by the processor because the excessive heat that is being produced. If we're taking it part by part here, we can see that it consists of two components. The fan itself, which is the blue one, and then the heating itself, which is colored as a silver metallic around here. It helps to reduce heat, and also there's a thermal paste here, which are a paste to reduce the heat absorption and to help the heat processing go better. Now I will introduce you to our motherboard. Yes, basically motherboard is the mother of the board. Uh, you know, it's the where you can place all the part like the GPU, the sound card, and then the RAM, processor, and then the other port for the other external too. Then moving on, so I will tell you about this processor. This the processor. It has uh, this the thermal paste you can see the thermal paste itself it helps to cool down the processor the processor will give a really great heat and then it the thermal paste will absorb the heat so it can cool down the processor so when your PC sometimes easily got BSOD or sometimes got freeze at the moment you can you must check sometimes check the thermal paste uh, is it uh, about to dry or about to too much so you must always check so this is the ram you can see this is the storage where you can save the data when the data turn off so basically when you try to save the data but suddenly the pc turn off and you can save the data the pc itself save the data for you in this ram this type of ram is from SATA and this is uh, mount 1 gigabyte. Next. Ini ntar di skip aja hmm. pas masang nanti. Ah, repot. Hmm. Then now we have this port. This port for the monitor port and then here the USB port you can uh, you can put your USB in here like a flash disk or USB type mouse and then here we got also have two port for USB and then here we got for a monitor too and then here we have the keyboard and mouse port okay next here also motherboard also attached for the other hardware a drive also the floppy disk like this one my name is Jeffrey and I will tell you about the, about the most important thing in the, in the computer. Yeah, the most important thing in the computer is the cables. Because without the cables, you cannot have a power connected to the motherboard, you cannot have a power connected to here, hard drive, and, and you, cannot, you cannot transfer the data, you cannot save data, because the cable is not connected between motherboard and and the uh, system or, or the power to, to the system. 
And first thing that we can see here is the large motherboard power cable, which gives you the power to, to the motherboard. And this smaller 4-pin cable is for powering up your hard drive, powering up your fan, powering up your anything that, you, that uses a 4-port power cable. And then for transferring data, you have this two IDE cable. On the, on the old computer, the, there are only one, but because this is a new computer, you have two. One is for optical drive, and one another is for hard drive. Each cable has two connectors, so you can put two drive in one cable. And the smaller one is a floppy cable, you see? It's smaller than the, than the IDE. The main function for the floppy cable, of course, is for transferring the data from the floppy to the motherboard. Well, well the IDE. And that's not like the IDE. Floppy drive only have one. Because, you know, we don't need many, many floppy drive, right? Only one. So, uh, this is floppy drive. DVD drives and others. So we don't use this anymore. And now this is hard disk drive. Uh, this is the storage media that well, we use to uh, save operating system data such as uh, photos and application that was used <laughs> in the computer. So this is a um, this is an important part of computer. Okay, this one is the pulse by unit, which is uh, gives the computer a power, or uh, in simple words, is the uh, I can say it's the most important thing because without this thing, uh, the computer would not uh, turn on. Also, uh, this one, this is called the uh, DVD drive or CD drive. Uh, it is now very popular in uh, PCs because uh, this stuff uh, is used to read uh, DVDs or compact discs. And uh, nowadays uh, we we uh, we know as uh, Blu-ray uh, disc, uh, which is more pristine in picture and sound. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. So this is our video about. We are disassembling our PC here, our CPU here, and we're explaining each part of it to increase your knowledge and to give you some education purpose here. So thank you, and we're having a really, really long time to take this damn thing on again. So yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned and enjoy it. Please.